Good morning everybody, Orange Jay here with another War of the Visions video, and I wanted to talk today about the new raid a little bit, about some easy ways for newer players to really power up their account, especially if you're lacking in gear. There's some really easy things you can do during this raid that will just boost your account to a point where you might be, uh, you might be feeling a little more respectable in PvP or something like that, so we're going to talk about all of those things right now. Okay, and before we get into it, big shout out to the patrons on Patreon and the members on YouTube. Y'all are awesome. Thank you for supporting the channel. Um, the last video, my little overlay didn't come up, so I don't know. I'm going to try and get it to work on this one. We'll see. I'm uh, still not the most technically advanced person, but I just came off of the Justin and Friends stream, which was a blast, and now I want to do um, a video over this raid. I pushed it to 100 today. I messed around with some teams, and I think I want to start by just showing that, once again, Dark Slash can absolutely go smash this raid. Like, here's the team I've been using. I've been using Dwayne Stern and Ruin Stern with a bonus unit mixed in. I am having to clear this as a four-man squad right now because my bonus units charlotte and swimsuit Kilfay, just aren't really built up um and it is actually better for me to use one of those bonus units and just do a four-man room so no big deal i want to show you a quick trick i'm using though i have Kilfay here and watch this i'm actually equipping her with gear like um well i don't actually have one right here but um I'm equipping her with no agility up gear, right? She's getting no agility from her gear, and I'm having her not use an Esper. This keeps her agility as low as possible because the focus of my team is use dark slashing units to build chains of slashing and dark to kill the boss as fast as possible. So by Kilpay having less turns, I'm still getting her bonus, but no, she's not breaking the dark chains. And when she is attacking, the only move I have turned on for is her double hit attack that is a slashing attack. So it does play off the chains pretty well. And this squad is absolutely just massacring this boss. Now, I have also been able to clear it with a light slashing team that you can see actually has no 120s in it. This team, with proper, like, AI tweaking, can auto-solo the boss. Uh, solo, auto-beat the boss. But this team is a lot more effective on manual. Lots of good chains here, right? Three hit attack here, two hit attack here, three hit attack here, two hit attack here. Really good chaining team. Um, and there's some 120 light units like Rob. If you have those, Light Slash can definitely do this fight easy. So, these are the teams I've been using to clear the fight. This is by far my most effective team. Because my Vision Card and Esper setup for Dark Slash is just better. Alright, now when it comes to spawning raids for this event, I think there's two ways to think about it. I think the most efficient way, if you're going to be like AFKing it, like put a room on repeat and walking away, I don't think there's any better one to do that on than the 2x book drop. Like 2x book drop is insane, take advantage of that. If, however, you want to do it uh, manually using skip tickets, I think the most efficient way to do it as far as skip ticket to raid spawn goes is go into world quest, come in here to these, uh, let's, let's look at one, come in here to these character quests, right? Not the shard quest because you can only do those a couple times a day, but you can click on Morse character quests here. It costs 20 energy, which means that it will guarantee spawn you the room 20 energy is the cutoff these cost 25 so i can hit skip just use one ticket and by doing that i'm guaranteed to spawn a raid room so those are the two ways that i'm spawning raids this time either auto repeating on the book farm if i just am being lazy doing other things in the background if i'm doing it manually i'm using one skip ticket on these character quests to get the room for one skip ticket because i'm running a little bit low on my skip tickets Okay, now I want to talk to like some of the newer players or players with like less developed accounts as far as gear goes than maybe some of the in-game players. And just a quick tip or two on how you could power up your account a little bit more right now, like really fast. So basically, I'm going to jump into the Mog Shop. I'll drop this menu down, hit the Mog Shop button, and here you see the raid medals, right? I have 167,000, which is enough to buy a lot of these recipes. So you come in here for 2K, pick up a recipe. You will also get some recipe drops from from just um, playing, well, excuse me, from just playing the raid a little bit. What you can do with these is something that I used to do with the platinum armor. 
If you go down to uh, PvP medals here, the, you can buy platinum armor recipes for 5,000 of these medals. That's a lot. That's a big investment in your PvP medals. 5,000 is a big number. But I would do this with my plat armors. And let me show you an example. Because the defense type plat armor has such good stats on it. So let me, let me find one here that I've built before. That's a vital. I have a deep, there's a shield one, right? So I actually use this armor quite a bit. It's a plus zero, but it has 683 health and 20 defense. Like if I'm defense stacking a tank, tank, a platinum armor at plus zero is a pretty good option. Yes, the evade and accuracy down kind of sucks, but whatever, it's my tank. With this new gear, the knight armor, you can you have two really good options to do this like shortcut to a nice usable piece of gear at plus zero. The first option is shield. Now I want to I want to point out here when you're crafting a plus zero, it randomly gives you one of the three types, right? So you're going to need to buy multiple recipes if you have a specific one you want. But check out the chat stats on this shield version: 601 HP, 11 defense, and 10 spirit. That's really good stats on a piece of armor. Yes, you are missing out on the magic resist from making it a plus five. And I highly recommend you go make a plus five or you at least buy the recipe so you can make a plus five later. But in the meantime, if you need some gear right now, you really can't go wrong with either shield or barrier type of this knight armor at even a plus zero. And it's not a big investment in materials to get it there. You're going to have to awaken it all the way. And that's going to cost you exactly this. 185 of these, 6 of these, and 375 books. Books are on double farm right now. These two things are farmable in the raid and in the raid exchange shop. So you can get them. My favorite version of this, my favorite like plus zero freer version of this is the barrier. The barrier is going to have the same HP, but 20 spirit. It's kind of like the cheap shortcut that platinum armor was for defense, but for the spirit version of it. And that's really good. A 20 spirit, 600 HP piece of armor is fantastic for your magic tanks out there. So that's my little tip. Tip. I about said trick. It's, it's, it's kind of both. It is what it is. But that's my little uh, tip for the day here for this raid. Um, and with all the new players coming into the game right now, I know you're out there. Uh, welcome to the game. I hope this helps you out. And yeah, let me know in the comments if you have any other questions, anything else you'd want me to address. And uh, that'll do it for the video tonight, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.